Hello everybody, Landai here, and today I'm going to be trying something new. So, in the past, I've done movie reviews, and I believe just two of them, um, and I just feel like they didn't work as well for my channel, um, but this time I'm going to be trying video game reviews, and hopefully that is just, it works a little better, more smoothly, and I thought, what better to start this off than a video game I've played through not too far long, not too long ago, um, Super Mario RPG, the uh, remake for Switch that released in November, and I said, why not? For those of you who don't know, uh, Super Mario RPG, the original one, released for the Super Nintendo in 1996, and I believe uh, Square was the main company behind that, and it kind of was the first in, in what caused uh, Mario RPGs to even become a thing to begin with, and then because of this game, you would have Paper Mario, and then uh, Mario and Luigi. Basically, Mario RPGs in general have been inspired by Super Mario RPG. This remake that released last year, it gave people like me who had never had access to the original game on Super Nintendo a chance to actually play this and experience it, and that was is great. I love that this remake was made. And I really like that they're uh, doing this again with uh, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. I'm definitely going to try to play that game when that releases. But back to this review. Um, Mario RPGs are pretty fun, although I haven't actually played many of them, but I have watched a lot. I mean, throughout my I don't know, younger years, um, throughout the 2010s really, I'd watched like YouTube Let's Plays and videos about the Mario and Luigi games or even the Paper Mario games. So I, even though I haven't played as much Mario RPGs, I have had experience in just like watching them. You know, as of recently, I've been able to play them on my Switch and it's been really fun. I played uh, Paper Mario and then Super Mario RPG uh, so far. And it's just been really fun to revisit these games I watched when I was younger and actually play through them. But, without making this intro too crazy long, I'd say let's just hop right into the review. First off, this is an RPG, so there is a story. Uh, story has not been the strongest suit when it comes to Mario games in general. However, Super Mario RPG, because of its RPG nature, it has more of a story than pretty much any of the uh, Mario games that released prior. I think that the story, it's it's very simple. Like, if you're going into this expecting, like, super high caliber RPG story, uh, I wouldn't expect that necessarily. It's 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 still simple, but it is interesting enough. You know, it there's little like each segment, for instance, has its own little subplot along with the overarching story of Mario and friends defeating. Uh, Smithy, and just this journey across this this land that this takes place in, and all these different little segments, and again, they each have their little subplots, which adds to the overall story. I think that's a fun little uh, little gimmick to have in there. And again, compared to other uh, Mario games, so the non-RPG Mario games, it definitely is a step up when it comes to the story. The gameplay, though, is where I think this game really shines. I think that this is probably one of the best RPGs for beginners into the RPG genre. Because not only is the game on the easier side by default, it also has a breezy mode, which um, I didn't play that because I'm not exactly the newest to RPGs. But it is great for... Those people who have never played an RPG and are just like, alright, what is this about? That is, it really is just a great stepping point for beginners. I'll say this though, it might be a little too easy, but it's still fun. I, I still enjoyed it. Um, the leveling system is easy to understand, which I think is a good thing, again, for the beginners. But also just, it gets you introduced to RPG leveling, but it only is... It's not like some crazy thing like the stats are easy to understand of course and then 
um, you can pick like three stats or, or one of three stats to improve um, and you get to watch the characters dance in place which is a highlight of this entire game if nothing else in this review uh, convinces you to get this game it's the dances that the characters do when you level up that's that's what should get you to buy this game in all seriousness though it's it's fun I love the combat in this game because it's really engaging because there's action commands which are basically uh, moments during battles where you can press the A button to either attack better or defend yourself from an attack. Um, and you can really utilize these to help you throughout this game and in combat. And it just, again, it's very, what's the word? It's very engaging, like I said before, because instead of just like picking the move you're going to use to attack, you pick the move, but then you also can assist yourself in actually pulling that move off through action and it keeps the gameplay from becoming stale. So I really do enjoy that and it's why Mario RPGs are just so great because they all have taken from this game's concept of action commands and have expanded upon it. Lastly, uh, this has some good puzzles. Um, a lot of RPG games have little puzzles here and there, and this is no exception to that. They're not like the craziest challenging puzzles. Um, I mean, you might get stuck a little bit on some, but like you'll eventually figure them out, and they're pretty fun um, for the most part. So yeah, I'd say puzzles are nice. Like story, it's not like some huge highlight of this game, but it is a fun little addition to it. Now, one last thing I want to mention before wrapping up this review is are the, are the visuals. This is a remake, and I think it does a great job at adopting the look of the original game just into more modern graphics. And what I mean by that is the art style, you know, the direction of art and the characters, whatever you want to say, it follows true to what Square was doing with the original game, um, where like the characters are a bit smaller in size, and it, it just had a look to it, a very distinctive look from uh, other Mario games and even other RPGs and I like that this game captured that but just you know ported it onto a console with better graphics um, so it's smoother and it's great I think you know it's just an excellent it's perfect because it's it doesn't it's new enough you know it's definitely it's it's better looking than the original but it, it still keeps the charm, and I think that is very important and really helps this remake do justice to the original game. So that's all I really have for this review. Um, overall, I really enjoyed this game. It was a blast to play through. I'd say the only issue is that there could be a little more challenge. I guess that would knock the score just a little bit for me, but I still really enjoyed this game. Um, so I think, I think I'll give it maybe an 8, 8.5 out of 10. Really high. Um, but just a really great game. So hopefully this review uh, went well and all. I do want to make some more. Um, the next one up that I really want to make is Paper Mario. I actually played Paper Mario before playing this game. Uh, I played it on the uh, Nintendo 64 Virtual Console on the Switch. And I found that really fun. But I do want to review that next in a similar format to this. And then as I go on... Um, beating games, I usually, I, I like to review a game after I beat it, um, I mean, I can make exceptions, like, if I get pretty far, that's, that's good enough, but, uh, I, I do want to try beating these games, um, the one I'm working on right now is Fire Emblem, um, or Fire Emblem the Blazing Blade, I think, uh, for the Game Boy Advance, on the Switch's Virtual Console again, and, uh, I'm playing through that, so hopefully I can beat it and have a review of that eventually you know sometime in the future but yeah so uh let me know what you think about this review and this format and whatnot and well and thanks for watching and until next time see ya